Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a review for you of this Q700 mechanical gaming keyboard. As you can see here, come in your little package like this. So this is a pretty interesting keyboard and it comes with some pretty nice LED. I'm going to show you guys that in a few minutes here. Uh, in the back here you have some uh, explanation of some of the features, macro functionality, uh, independent uh, backlighting for each of the key, and then multimeter key. Uh, that's pretty much about it. So let's go ahead and uh, show you guys the inside. So I have this keyboard for about three weeks now. So the first two weeks I use it at work and then the last week here I've been using it at home for gaming. Uh, inside we have the keyboard itself. This is the white color. They also have a black version but I wanted to try the white version because it looked pretty nice and you also have some user menu but the most important piece of paper is this piece here has all the quick uh, function key and explain to you what all they all do so you can kind of see here so you have a lot of different uh, options here so I'm going to show you guys that a little bit later but let's take a look at the keyboard so here you can see you have a nice braided cable a pretty nice link yes I believe is about five to six feet here and then here's the keyboard as you can see you have this nice white key and uh, this is actually a blue switch this is a Chinese blue switch the switch are LED uh, backlit so each of the keys are LED backlit so uh, you know they make it sound like it's RGB but uh, actually the keyboard is very different because it's not really RGB switch rather each of the switch has a different set of color and each of the switch has a consistently the same color it's in general overall as a keyboard it make a very nice pattern it has some really cool da dancing LED but uh, they're not RGB switch and you can't really customize them to different color they're just always the same color just different uh, pattern and you can see uh, because of the design there are some compromise you can see the key here they kind of wiggle a little bit you can see the arrow key is actually not even straight but yeah uh, that's just uh, some of the small compromise overall it doesn't really affect that much but it still works pretty well but I uh, kind of give you just give you an idea here so it's a standard I think 104 key here you have your numpad over here and uh, it's a race key as you can see right now and in the back it make it look like it's like some kind of brown switch but uh, it's actually a blue switch as I showed earlier so here we go I'm just gonna give you guys a quick sound test uh, while it's on the table here kind of give you an idea and again from the top So as you can hear though, it sounds like, uh, you know, kind of mixed up between a blue and a brown switch. Uh, you get the, uh, you know, feedback of a blue switch and the actuation of the blue switch, but the sound is, you know, slightly a bit damping. Uh, it's, uh, it sounds, you know, it's like a brown switch. It's, it's, it doesn't really sound like a blue switch, a typical blue switch that I'm thinking of. It's a pretty nice experience typing on this keyboard, especially what I use at work uh, full time for, you know, eight hour a day. It's comfortable. Uh, the only thing that this guy doesn't have is uh, an arm wrist, which I usually like, so you have to provide your own, uh, you know, armrest if you want to use that. The other interesting thing is the font that is used. So the fonts on the keyboard are, you know, these look pretty typical, but over here you can see the home key. They kind of have an interesting font to them. And all these are backlit, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in right now and uh, show you guys what are some of the functionality. So here is one of the lighting modes. As you can see, uh, this plug is in and you have this nice wavy uh, lighting mode. So the key, as you can see, is white and you can see the colors are coming through very well. But uh, as you notice that it's actually not very bright. It's bright enough, but to me, it's not very bright when it's out in direct sun. So if you have a window with a lot of sun, uh, it just can be hard to see. But right now in this room here, I only have my monitor on and the light behind me. So that kind of gives you an idea. It's still a pretty nice color. It's a nice wavy color. So again, I was explaining earlier, these keys are not actually RGB. So you can see here, uh, you know, this key, for example, is always red. This is always orange, green, blue. But in, in general, as a palette, it makes a very nice pattern. And the bottom rows are always white. So the, if you hold out a function key here, you can press in search. And that gives a different design. This is one of the like tracing snake designs so this one is pretty cool so you have this waving effect and it does different thing so you can speed it up by uh, actually pressing the, the left one here which is usually backward but this is the fastest speed here and then now uh, you see just pulsating and doing its own little thing and you can slow it down by going the right side just like that uh, hold out the function key and press one of the other home key over here that gives you another lighting mode so this one is the ripple effect as you can see very very nice so of course again we can slow that down by doing this and we can also speed up by doing that so now we have a nice ripple effect so even though it's not RGB key you still get a very nice effect in general because of the wave design so next we can do a function page up and that gives you another wave pattern similar to the one earlier I'm gonna slow down a little bit here and then uh, you know function delete this is also a pulsating mode there you go fading in and out and then function end 
So this one here is interesting because you can do some pretty cool uh, with this one. You can see the three light blinking. You can set which key you want to be on. So, as, so for example, if you want to play a game and you only want certain key to be on, you can just go ahead and set those key on. So for example, FPS, we will play in this key, maybe some of these key down here. And when you're done, just hit the whole function end again and that lock the key back to normal, normal blinking. And now it's locking that lighting pen. This is actually remember uh, in the keyboard. So even after you unplug it, uh, next time you plug it in somewhere else, it's still gonna have remember that pattern. So it's pretty cool. Uh, next function, paste down. And this is the fading out key. And you can slow that effect down, of course. So you can have the key fade out very slowly, just like that. Again, pretty neat. Uh, you also have the ability to do function uh, one, two, three, four, five. These are some of the presets for some of the different games. So that's FPS. So you have Leave Legend. You have all these different uh, kind of like game preset that lit up a certain section of the keyboard. This is actually pretty cool. You can also adjust brightness by up and down like this. So this is the brightest and this is the dimmage all the way to off. So let me go ahead this five level. Go ahead and set it back to on this one. So this is as bright as we get. Uh, the other thing they has is a multimedia key. However, they're not being labeled, so it's kind of tricky to know which is play, which is pause. You kind of have to just uh, you know get used to them and use them, and it's fine. So the keyboard also has some advertising for macro. The it's F1 to F4, but uh, there's no instruction on the manual to how to use that. So I do not know how to use the macro. But uh, that was one of the other things. You can also lock the window key over here by holding down the function windows. And that's pretty much about it, guys. So guys, overall, this keyboard is a pretty nice keyboard. You have a pretty nice build quality. Uh, the bottom is plastic. And then you have here just a metal aluminum plate kind of. And then everything up here is plastic. The keys could be a little bit better make and uh, you do notice that they wiggle just a little bit but uh, you know compared to some of the other more uh, you know expensive keyboard I have here but I think for the price you're getting a pretty nice keyboard with a decent amount of backlighting set up here. Uh, the white keys really do a pretty good job of shining the light through but uh, I do think that uh, these aren't the brightest one I, I seen. I do like the fact that all the effects are built in so you do not need the software which uh, you know can be a little bit cumbersome if uh, you ever use one of the software from Corsair etc. These are just one color switch that are placed in proper position and uh, you know with a cool lighting effect it produce a pretty nice uh, pattern here so guys that's pretty much conclude my quick review I hope it helped you in your budget decision if you have any questions just let me know in the comment below and as always stay tuned for future review thank you mm -hmm.